Hello everybody, Chris Brazier here. Let's talk about the safety for people uh, that are caring for traumatic brain injury patients or the traumatic brain injury patients themselves as you go back into the workforce as our economy reopens during this pandemic. Now there's two things that I, I think are important to know. The first one is what duty does the employer owe to the employee? And second, what happens if the employee gets sick while they're at work? And so let's break those two down. The first one is what, what should an employer do uh, to make sure that the reopening and bringing employees back into the workplace uh, is done appropriately? Well, there's a lot of different rules and regulations that apply to different industries, but the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, has one particular uh, duty called a general duty clause that applies to all employers in the United States. And it basically says that the employer needs to provide a workplace that is free from uh, hazards that can either kill or uh, injure somebody while they're working. And so in this uh, COVID-19 environment, what does that mean? Well, because this pandemic is so new, it's, there's not a lot of exact law on this particular point, but just using reasonable steps, it seems to me at least, in my opinion, that it's very important that the employer uh, follow the uh, local, state, and federal guidelines, uh, whatever those may be, during this reopening period. For example, uh, social distancing, masks, uh, gloves, um, sanitizing surfaces, things like that, um, those and requiring those types of things. Uh, I think that's going to be important. And basically what is a reasonable step? And I think following those guidelines, no matter where you are uh, as a caretaker for somebody with a traumatic brain injury or a patient with a traumatic brain injury trying to re-enter the workforce, the important thing for you to know is that the employer does have a duty to make that uh, em employment uh, area uh, you know, safe using uh, reasonable kind of steps. Second, what happens if uh, the employee gets sick uh, because or during the course and scope of their employment? Well. Basically, in Texas, the law says that if the employer has workers' compensation insurance, then the employee is supposed to have their medical bills and their uh, wages paid for by the workers' comp insurance company. Now, and that means that the employee cannot expect, cannot sue the employer, uh, cannot expect the employer to pay for more than that. Now, the exception to that rule is if the employee dies and there's gross negligence, or basically uh, extreme kind of uh, bad action, those are my words, uh, by the employer. But without, a, without the employee dying, uh, the remedy is for the employee who gets sick um, to recover under a workers' compensation insurance policy. Now, if the employer does not have a workers' comp insurance policy, then the employee can expect the employer to, to pay for medical bills, uh, lost wages, and a number of other pain and suffering, uh, a number of other things that are damages or injuries that the employee has suffered uh, if, they, if the employee was injured in the course and scope of their employment. So the, the other thing that's important to know is if there is no employer workers' comp insurance policy, then the employee can sue the employer directly um, because the employer is what we call a non-subscriber. So I hope this has been helpful as uh, we try to re-enter uh, the workforce and I wish everybody a safe uh, return to a new normal, I guess. Take care.